Hey there! So we're back on the top mark site and we're going to look at a counting game. Today let's have a little look at the ladybird game which is a really cool little game because there's three different things you can do. The blue game is counting, the purple game is matching and the pink game is putting things in order. So the first thing we do is click our ladybird and then we're going to click counting. Now we've got choices. We can go from 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 and we can do it with numbers or we can do it with words. So let's have a look at counting 1 to 10 and do this one first. So, mm, I usually count one side of the ladybird and then the other side so I don't go wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's a big number. Can you find nine over here? Which one is it? You're right. This is nine. And the game has told us we're correct. Let's check this one. Not such a big number. This is a, definitely a smaller number than nine, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Can you find four? There it is. And so on. We're going to play one more of this game and then we're going to have a look at it with the words. Let's count. We'll count one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is eight? Well done. There it is. Last one. Let's count those spots. Would you say that's less than eight? Mm, me too. One, two, three, four, five. Can we find five? Good job. Now, if we want to play a different game, back to the menu. And this time, let's look at the words. So, we'll just do here. Now, it tells us, put eight spots on the ladybird. We've got lots of spots to pick, so we click on a spot and then it will move around for us. And we pull it across and let it go. One, two, three, four, five. Is that enough yet? No, we want to do eight. We've got five done. Six, seven. How many more? That's right, one more to make eight. We've got eight spots. Let me just count and check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm happy. I've got eight spots. And the game says, that's right. Well done. We're a good team. Put six spots on the ladybird. Six. Okay. One. Two. Three. I'm going to keep going. Four, five, how many more? One more, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we did a good job. Now let's go back and look and see what else we could do. Counting out numbers. Put three spots in the ladybird. Mm, we've done that the same. That's the same, isn't it? One to five numbers, one to ten numbers. Oh, I get it now. On this side, they're asking us how many, and on this side, they're asking us to put them in. All right. Um, not a huge difference between these two and these two. Let's look at the matching games. I'm going to match the ladybirds to the leaves. And we can go from 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 
or 1 to 10. Let's try some 6 to 10 ones. So we've got some numbers at the top. What number is this? 10, 6, 7, well done, 8, 9. They're not in order. They're all mixed up. And the ladybirds down at the bottom are mixed up too. So we've got to count what's on each ladybird and put her on the right leaf. So let's count our first ladybird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's seven up here? That's it, isn't it? So click on my ladybird and bring her up and put her down on the leaf that says seven. Let's count the next ladybird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you remember where ten is up here? That's it, isn't it? Okay, so let's bring the ladybird with ten spots up to the leaf with ten. Let's count our next ladybird. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up she goes. Let's count the next ladybird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so she's not going to go here. Sure she's not. She's going to go over here on nine. And the last one has to match to eight. Let's just count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now, once we have all the ladybirds on the leaves, we can check and we got it right. OK, last game to look at is putting things in order. So we're going to do some ordering and we can go from the smallest number to the biggest number or we can go from the biggest number to the smallest number. So let's have a look at going from smallest to biggest first and we'll look at the numbers between six and ten. So we have to figure out which number is smallest and put it here, which number is biggest and put it up here. So we need to count. One, two, three. Oh, we'll go one side first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I don't know if it's the smallest yet. Do, do any of them look smaller? Hmm. This one doesn't seem to have so many. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we were starting at six, so I think six is the smallest. So I'm going to put it up here. If I change my mind later, I can take him back off and reorder it. But I, I think I'm going to go for six. So what comes after six? We're going to try and find the ladybird that has seven. One, two, three, four five, six, seven. Ah, six, then seven. That makes sense. What's next after seven? You're right, eight. We counted eight, didn't we? It was the first ladybird. Now we're looking for the ladybird with nine. Maybe it's this one. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And hopefully this last ladybird has ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did it. We can check. Well done. Now, we can do it the other way around. We can go from the biggest to the smallest. So let's try just with numbers one to five for that. So what's the biggest number? Let's think one, two, three, four, five. The last number we said five is the biggest number. Can we find the ladybird with five? Which one do you think it might be? Do you think it's this one? Let's count and check. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. So we think five is the biggest number. Now, what number is just before five? 
One, two, three, four, five. What did we say just before five? Four, five. We said four. Can you spot four? Are you saying this one? You're right. There's four. Now, what comes just before four? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Oh, what did I say just before four? I said three, didn't I? Three, then four. So, where's three? Well, that's only one, isn't it? This is two. One, two, three. This is it. Three. What's just before three? One, two, three. I said two just before three, didn't I? And one is the smallest number we have. Let's check. We did it. What a good team we are. So just going back, there are lots of games you can play. You can play the counting games between one and five and one and 10 with numbers or with words. And you can say how many there are, or you can put the numbers on. You can do your matching game where you're matching the ladybirds onto the leaves. And then you can do your ordering game where you're putting the ladybirds in order. So there are a lot of games to play on the ladybird spot on top marks. Okay then, bye bye.